Thanks, Spencer. Tacky. That's how regional cricket commentator Barry Wilkinson describes the Cricket West Indies and handling of the regional team's tour to England for the upcoming three-test series. Wilkinson adds that the risks taken could have serious implications for the board. More in this report. The Barbadian Wilkinson did not mince his words while speaking on Hits 92 FM's Sports Grill on Wednesday. The commentator says despite all the platitudes and the public relations representation offered by the board, there's only one reason the tour was agreed on. I mean, this tour is strictly about money. Uh, when you look at the fact, Simon, that you're playing, um, you're taking 25 players one, you're playing in what is called a biosecure venue, which, all, which really only means you, you've just changed things up to, to, to because, I mean, I don't know anywhere it's biosecure mm. in, in England. Yeah. Uh, you, you, you're, you're just, you're just, putting pretty names to things to make things happen and they're just 20 precautions no no one is watching the matches it's like ice cream without sugar shimron hetmeyer kima paul and darren bravo all opted out of the tour due to the coronavirus pandemic which continues to ravage the european country and wilkinson believes that the preparation phase could see the windies losing the wisdom trophy which they reclaimed in january 2019. the tour is tacky the whole preparation is tacky and I think that Cricket West Indies and Indies should uh, really have a look within themselves and say, look, this is a whole tacky job and a very tacky operation. And perhaps we, we, we would have done better just sitting this one out. And even as Wilkinson asserts that players are still scared to make the trip even while agreeing to go, Jamaican Jeremy Black would have us no thoughts of staying home. No, I didn't find it difficult. Once, once he called, I just said yes because... The end of the day, it's my job. I've been sitting down for like a couple of months now. I'm, I'm eager to go there and, you know, get in some good performance, you know, and, and win some games for the team. Despite this, Wilkinson suggests that there could be huge ramifications for the board if there's an outbreak of COVID-19 in the regional team. Oh, well, if there's an outbreak in the West Indies camp, uh, no doubt the tour will be called off, mm. one. And two, uh, I would expect that the, the CEO the president uh, will have to resign because uh, at the end, and the board because at the end of the day, they're the ones who uh, okayed the tour. The Caribbean team is expected to leave regional shores on Monday for the series, which starts on July 8th.